Phineas, Mark II, going for a much larger orbit this time with some science modules. put so much work in that staging too and it was a complete disaster uh see you guys well this this rocket is not going as well as i'd hoped hey it's tyler here welcome to episode two okay <laughs> we have a pretty complex rocket here probably overly complex but I was able to get a couple, uh, a mission up, get these goos up to give me more science, which unlocked these winglets, which lets me control solid, uh, solid boosters. So to explain my staging here, okay, we have two solid rocket boosters in three pairs. So we have three pair of two solid rocket boosters. This engine I have on my main rocket here. I've added another fuel tank, so I'm up to a total of six fuel tanks. Uh, four on my first stage on this engine, then two on my next stage. And then obviously capsule at the top. So I've added the solid rocket boosters because this engine can't quite lift. It can move it, but it really can't get it up to where it needs to be. So my pairs of boosters here, each one's going to get me a little bit higher than the next. With the end total goal of getting to a about 6,000 meters and hopefully about 200 meters per second which at this point this which is the worst part of the atmosphere and the biggest hump to get over and then at that point this engine should be able to get us the rest of the way theoretically of course <laughs> to extend my burn times I've throttled all these engines down to 80 percent big thing is the first stage I don't know if two of these at 80% will get all of this moving at all. So I hope it's gonna work. Let's give it a go. guys, we're just going to go ahead and board this. I think my staging was off. I might have chucked some good solid boosters and kept some non-working solid boosters. So, yeah. We're just going to call this one a doozy. <laughs> Later, guys. I'll be back. Hey, guys. Tell them back here with you. We got the staging correct this time.
thousand meters and just about 200 meters per second. Not quite though. But they did get us a little bit higher, so I'll take that. Sweet, perfect. Okay. All right, I'll be back with you guys in a bit. I think we're gonna try to go out to maybe to the moon or something. Hey guys, Tyler back here with ya. Okay, this I think is the ideal way to get to another planet. You can see my Apple Apsis is right out there, and that's my slowest point in my curve into orbit. So I'm going to have a minimum closing distance coming here on the moon, which is pretty sweet. And I'm basically, I'm s only shooting myself out here, then I'm basically just going to arch in Kerbin's orbit. And it should be an extremely easy burn here to get into orbit of the moon. So I will see you guys around the moon, and I got some science goo. Yay. <laughs> All right, see you then. Okay, guys.
guys, here we are of a below 30,000 meters above the moon. I hope this counts as low above the moon. Give it a shot. In space near the moon, that's cool. Let's get a crew report. Very nice. It's EVA. Twenty-four sites, nice. Okay, go back to this. Very nice, very nice. Okay. And we're hitting our periapsis, which will be our fastest point. So I should tell you what. We're gonna go around the moon one more time and we're gonna try to shoot out this way and catch Kerbin on the flip side, so I will see you guys back at the Science Center. Okay guys, Tyler back here with you, okay? We are gonna do a short little burn here at our periapsis, which is your fastest point coming around the planet. So it'd actually slow you down. It'd take a little more, well, yeah, you pretty much need to do this. <laughs> Use your periapsis to get in a smaller orbit. And I've made my new periapsis at 25,000, so we're basically gonna zip by here, and we're gonna, we're using the largest circle we can, just because that's how it works out. Then we're going to rip through the atmosphere, which is going to arrow break us. And then we'll splash down probably somewhere. I don't know, it depends how well this arrow break works and how well I hit it. But I expect to land on the planet on the next orbit, but it's going to be just skimming right over the atmosphere. Using the atmosphere to slow us down and then plonk onto the planet. So we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, I did a pretty good burn. We should come through atmosphere at 26,000 meters, so I'll see you on the re-entry. Okay guys, we're coming in for re-entry. I'm keeping the booster on just in case we skip out of the atmosphere. And we'll see how the G's go. It's a pretty fast re-entry here. Oh yeah, we're not gonna make it out. Cool, see you at the Science Center. Hey guys, Tyler back here with you. We got a total of 124 science for that. Yes. And that re-entry was actually my smoothest re-entry ever. I don't even think I hit 4 Gs. Like, I just barely got out of the green. Which is awesome. So, I will close out episode 2 there. Getting to orbit in the moon. Episode 3 will go for Minmus. Hopefully with some fancy new science gear. Because we got all this science. See you then.